This is the PRS Angelus A40. I'm on a mission to find the best guitars that I can recommend under $1,000. is the PRS Angelus A40. This is a really cool guitar and I am on a quest. I'm on a mission to find the best guitars that I can recommend under $1,000. And this guitar is $799 and has a ton of features. So let's run this through a three question gear review. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I help you find amazing guitars that will help you fill the world with music and friendship. If you're into that, make sure you're subscribed. All right, the A40. Now this is, it's really interesting to me that PRS is now into the world of high-end acoustic guitars, and they are bringing those high-end acoustic guitars down into affordable uh, price range that bring really cool options for guitar players like you and me, very normal, ordinary guitar players. I'm super excited for this guitar, so let's talk about it. Number one, the, this is the A40. This is the Angelus, Angelus, Angelus. I probably should have looked that up before I jumped into the video, but this is their body style, and it is strangely reminiscent of old Gibsons to me, which is an interesting thing, but just how round this lower bout is really uh, just kind of informs me and tells my brain to think in the old Gibson uh, way of building guitars. Now, what's interesting with this guitar is the tone woods and the material. So first, let's talk about the top. Top is Sitka Spruce Top, has this brown abalone, the, I don't know what you would call this kind of inlay. It's not my favorite because it's quite brown, but it is cool. I've never seen another guitar like it. Now on the back and sides is Avancol. Now what's interesting is they've, they've stained it really kind of in this golden brown color that makes you think more like mahogany. It looks like a more traditional kind of tone wood, but if you look inside the sound hole, you can see it is this beautiful, there's this kind of gray undertone to Avancol that is really beautiful. So anyway, Avancol is a great tone wood. So this guitar is solid top, solid back and sides, this is a professional grade guitar at an affordable uh, middle of the price range for a guitar of this spec. This guitar also has a pickup inside, has one of the Fishman Sonotone pickups, and it's a great sounding pickup. You have volume and tone in the sound hole, under saddle transducer. Iconic to PRS, you have their really iconic style headstock. You also have the bird inlays all along the guitar. This guitar is beautiful to look at. It's amazingly specced out. And it's really cool because this is a kind of guitar that is definitely aimed for a real guitar player that's playing at church or playing out in a, a bar or whatever kind of club or wherever you're going to be. This guitar could do a lot with it. It comes with an incredible hard case. That's one of the best things in the last couple of years is that guitars in this price range are now also getting really good hard cases coming with them instead of just having to live stuck with a gig bag. So that is most of the good things that I have to say about this guitar. Overall, it plays really well. The neck profile is definitely aimed uh, at an electric guitar player. Um, it's a little narrower for a traditional, I mean, it's, inch and, it's an inch and 11 sixteenths but with that nut width, it's just a little, you can tell that this guitar feels like an electric guitar, which tracks because this is a company that is known for iconic, really important, really beautiful electric guitars for the last 
40 years. The thing we definitely should talk about uh, in the what's bad about this guitar is let's talk about the neck profile. It's not a big thing, but I will say there are two main things that stick out to me about this guitar. The first one being the neck. So it's an inch and 11 sixteenths, which if you know Martin guitars, uh, it's their kind of, they went away from it a couple of years ago for probably 30 or 40 years. It was the standard Martin nut width, but it's a little tight, especially if you're a finger style guitar player because as soon as you start trying to play anything that's particularly jumbled up with your left hand, you're gonna get just, it's a little tight in your left hand. Now the other thing with this, it's not that big of a deal. It's a larger neck profile than I would have expected on a guitar that it comes from a brand that is known for electric guitars. Um, it's a big C-shaped neck, which is really comfortable and good to me, but I also know that I mean, most times for intermediate players and kind of beginning players, which is, well, this is more intermediate, low, kind of prosumer grade, the neck profile it would not be for everybody because it's just a little big for the normal player. Now, it is cool because it does have the really like iconic PRS headstock. Um, on the back is where I have just one issue is just how blazing um, and how much attention gets drawn to the scarf joint here on the neck. And there's also a really pronounced scarf joint here on the heel. Now, I completely support the idea of being ethical and resourceful and clever in how you cut necks. And so I know that if you have a neck that is this thick, you're wasting a lot of material. Taylor has kind of led the charge on this of being really ethical in the way that they um, use their lumber so that they can get the most guitar necks out of a piece of wood or just most guitars, period, out of a guitar so I understand that, but I think with the finish being so fair, it just makes it a little more complicated um, or just a little, there's just a little thing in me uh, that says, okay, it's, it's kind of an affordable guitar with those things. There are better ways to hide it. The finish could be just a, just a hair darker, a couple shades darker, and this would blend in. Uh, also, the grain is just very different on this one. Now, one thing that is particularly interesting to me is on the back of the headstock, it says built by Cortec. It says built by Cortec Musical Instrument Company, LTD, China, under exclusive license from PRS Guitar. So the reality is this guitar is built to spec for PRS, but it is not necessarily a PRS. And so that's where you have to start seeing like, well, how much are you going to add? How much is it worth to you to get uh, PRS's name and headstock and bird inlays on a guitar that is made by a company that I'm sure is making other guitars that you could buy maybe for lower prices. But I mean, at $7.99, this is a monster of a guitar for that amount of money. So with that said, it's kind of like buying an Ibanez. Ibanez doesn't actually build guitars. They just have companies around the world build guitars for them. The only time that ever is a problem, and it wouldn't be a problem on this guitar, is if you are getting to a place where anything would break on a guitar. The most notable problems with this were like Ibanez in the early 2000s. They were doing these locking trim, like heavy shreddy new metal guitars. And they would do these really kind of beautiful and interesting looking locking trims, but they would break eventually. I mean, as those things, like they're just mechanical things that get used. And as they would break, it is impossible to find them. And if you reach out to Ibanez, they would then have to reach out to whoever, whatever company had built that guitar or spec'd or sourced those pieces and parts. And you'd have to track them down and get those back. So it would be a problem. Now, I don't see that being a problem on this guitar. Now, the last thing I need to say is there's something, there's something buzzing in this guitar. Can you hear that? There it is. I think it's probably either the pickup is rattling just inside here. It could be the battery box, but the battery box is down here on the end. It's right underneath the bridge. I haven't taken the strings off. So this guitar did come from Sweetwater. This video is sponsored by Sweetwater. And um, I mean, it probably should have been caught. I mean, it's probably nothing. I, I can almost guarantee it's nothing that serious, but it's a, it's a string ball that's loose or something inside. So that's the... It's an interesting thing. It's unfortunate that it got through and I didn't fix it before the video because I want you to see these as these things really happen. Even to me, a YouTuber that they know, Sweetwater knows they're sending me this guitar and it's going to be in a video. It's going to be featured on the channel. And this still, I got missed. I mean, it's not a giant thing, but there's something buzzing in here. So that's basically all of the negative stuff that I can talk about. The scarf joint, the scarf, the scarf joint, with the heel joint. There's something buzzing inside. The finish is really good. Uh, it feels really good. It looks beautiful. So let's shift gears. Let's talk about if you're in the market to buy this. 
this video is you're going to see more videos filmed on the same day and they're all trying to answer the same question of what are some of the absolute best choices for guitars you can get under a thousand dollars i mean this has to be in the top two or three three or four that you would think about if you're looking for acoustic guitars under a thousand dollars because this has so many of the features that you would want so let's talk about fit finish and features and how those would play into what would make a really desirable guitar number one fit this is just a really good shape of a guitar it's very comfortable i'm glad that dreadnoughts seem to be waning in the acoustic world dreadnoughts are wonderful but they shouldn't be for everybody they're a big guitar they're big and square and so they're hard and your arm kind of goes out and your shoulders. I mean, they don't fit everyone. And so what I like is how many of this style of guitar, and like a concert size, an OM size. I mean, just a smaller guitar that has a little tighter waist, has a cutaway. As far as the fit of this guitar goes, it is just... I mean, precise and really well done. It's a good shape. It's a good size. The guitar is set up really well. Um, the nut action is really... It's good. You can tell that... I mean, it has been put together with some really specific thought and care. Uh, I like the bridge a lot. It is pretty thick. That's one thing I've started to notice. And when I'm talking about the bridge, I'm talking about the actual ebony here. The actual wood is just thicker than you would get on a more expensive guitar. And I don't know why. I, I think it's probably just leave a little more meat. And so that way, if they ever have to be tweaked or set up later on down the road, they can do stuff without having to do the other things like replace a bridge or, or do those things but the bridge is a little thick but fit features the features on this guitar are incredible i love the cutaway i also think that you would i mean probably one of the biggest motivations that people would want to buy one of these guitars is the bird inlays and this headstock this is i mean prs has been the king of cool for i mean for a long time i, I mean think about the movie airheads think about i mean that's the first movie i saw as a kid that was just like praising prs and it was just an iconic aspirational guitar then and it still is it's really cool that they moved into the acoustic guitar world um so all of that to say this guitar for all of the features between the pickup the cutaway the strap buttons the headstock the bird inlays the binding all around the gloss finish on the back and sides the fact that it's all solid there are so many dearly likable things about this guitar all in should you buy this guitar I think so. I think that this should be in, I mean, if you're an electric guitar player coming into the acoustic world, that's who this guitar is aimed after. If you are someone that wants really cool, unique features, uh, some iconic kind of styling, if you'd like something that's a little more ornate, but not flashy, I think that this is my only kind of gripe with the cosmetics is just this brown swirly material used around the top. It just, it's a little goofy to me. Um, if it was a different color, if it was a blue or a green or a red, but it's just, it's very brown. So uh, that's my only like visual kind of ugh, kind of thing on this. But overall for $799, this is amazing. Now this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. You should know that I've told you that. And there will be a link in the description down below. And that is an affiliate link. That's one of the ways that I take care of my family and I keep getting to make these videos is that I partner with brands like Sweetwater and they have been so gracious to me, so kind to me. Like these Lawton Audio LA120s, this match pair, these are, this is some of my favorite gear right now. These two microphones, because they just, they sound great and they work a lot like our ears and they sound like you're just kind of sitting, now it does sound like you're sitting like right in front of a guitar. But when you support Sweetwater, using those links in the description below, you support me and that's amazing and I'm so gracious, I'm so thankful for that. Uh, and um, yes, so this is the PRS A40. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. Make sure you subscribe down below. And if you want, if you're trying to figure out what guitars are right for you, you should, you should check out my course, Write Guitars Faster. There's going to be a link right down there. Or maybe at the end of this. There will be both. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I'll see you later. Bye.